Well, that may be a new tradition for the Chinese New Year. Another time-honored one is, of course, receiving a hongbao, or a lucky red envelope, where mostly children receive a bit of cash inside them. It could be just a little bit of money, but sometimes it could be thousands of yuan in each envelope. This practice is also spread to some expat families living in Shanghai. ICS reporter Zhang Ningben spoke to local and foreign families there to find out how their children are now handling that money. Like many teenagers, Chen Anran received thousands of yuan in cash from relatives during the spring festival. But her father would only allow her to spend a small amount of the money. My father gave me about 200 yuan from the lucky money, and I will use it to buy books and stationery. If there is still some left, I will give it back to my father for saving. Chen's father says he will put most of the money into a bank account he opened for his daughter. He says children should have some say in how their money is spent, but parents should always keep an eye on them. Nowadays, children's hongbao becomes bigger and bigger. If kids earn too much money, they might use it as a comparison at schools. That's bad for their development. My daughter is now 15, but I think she is still too young to deal with money in the proper way. Many Chinese parents handle cash gifts the same way. But some foreign parents are willing to let their children have more say in how their money is spent. Americans David and Desiree Talbot say their two kids, a three-year-old son and a five-year-old daughter, received 1,200 yuan from their Chinese friends during the holiday. Their mother says when they got the money, she wanted to use it to teach budgeting, especially for their older child, Chloe. So we actually went to the store and I told her that they could spend a certain amount of money but they couldn't, they could, they had to find a gift or a toy that was only that much money. So we had to search all over the store for the right amount. One local social science professor says Chinese and Western parents tend to have different ideas on how to teach their kids about money. The Western families want their children to learn how to make a living by themselves as early as possible. So budgeting and making better use of money are part of their family education. While most Chinese parents would like to make financial arrangements for their children and are very unlikely to let them handle most of the Hongbao money. Many foreign parents say they guide their children on how to deal with money, much like many Chinese parents. But they also allow children to make mistakes, while Chinese parents tend to stop their children from wasting money in the first place. Zhang Ningben, ICT for CCTV, Shanghai.